Hello and welcome to another episode of So What Do You Actually Do? In today's episode, I got the chance to interview Benny. Benny is an old classmate of mine, where he graduated from VCU as a chemical engineer. After graduating, he worked at a distillery making beer. But that long draining commute has gone to him, so he decided to quit after a couple of years. Benny then entered the market, and in his pursuit to find his next permanent job, he decided to do a temporary job in the meantime. That temporary job lasted for six years as an environmental compliance specialist. He really enjoyed doing that job. Benny works at Potomac Environmental, which is a local waste disposal company. As an environmental compliance specialist, he aids in paint drum removal, lab testing, and hazardous waste consultation. And with that further ado, let's jump straight into the interview. All right, so we'll get to the crux of the, uh, the channel. Um, what do you actually do? On a day-to-day -day basis, my job is like totally different every day, which is kind of part of the fun and why I've stuck along with it for so long. Like this morning, I went to a community college and packed up their lab waste for the year. Then this afternoon, I went to a painter's shop, like a household painter, you know, like someone that comes and you pay them to paint your house. Mm -hmm. They pour off their excess paint. And so I moved their paint drums, which are hazardous waste from inside their shop to outside their shop. So I could pick them up later, maybe next week or the week after. And then I came back to the office and I'm going to do some office work, some invoicing and a little bit of like actual paperwork related to the environmental side profiles, uh, like waste profiles and um, some logistical work. Are you certified to do something specific that you're testing for or are you certified across the board to, uh, um, to, to test for those uh, for your clients? So uh, I don't do any testing myself. We take it all to a lab. If I take a sample, I take it to a lab um, that follows with EPA. There's very specific regulations on how the testing has to be done. Like they basically make up the method. It's EPA SW0846 or whatever that they have to do to test for heavy metals. So um I don't do any of the testing myself. Uh, as far as certifications go, the main ones I have are DOT training, um, which is a function specific, job specific training on uh, shipping of materials, hazardous materials. And then I have a HazWalker 40 hour, which is a hazardous waste operations and emergency response, which is just a general hazardous waste knowledge and safety course. Um, just for clarity, are you doing are you telling the lab what you're looking for so they can test it themselves? So they're doing all the bench work or are you in the lab with them to, to do that testing? Just to clarify. I take the sample and I fill out what's called a chain of custody, which is um, where I request what tests I want run on it. And then I leave it there and they, they take care of it. And they send me the results within a week or two. Okay. Yeah. In terms of work-life balance, do you feel like it's one of those jobs that you mentioned, uh, having 5,000 things to take care of, does it at the end of the day, you're able to to put it aside and have a work-life balance or does it is it stressful? I struggle with the work-life balance because uh, the job is commission-based. So it's kind of like if I work more, I make more money. Um, and I also work out of the house a lot. Uh, when I'm not in the field, I'm basically working out of my home office. So it's hard to put it down at the end of the day. Um, but, and people, I have, I have customers that start work at six and then at three and other ones that start at eight and, and at five. So um, I get calls all day, every day. Uh, and when they call, I usually just want to answer because if I don't answer, they might call someone else. Uh, speaking of commission, uh, what is a typical pay range um, at the end of the day, at the end of the year, um, annually after you've worked some of weeks that are aggressive, some that are relaxing? How much would you say is a typical pay range? So in my previous position where I wasn't making commissions, um, I started out at 45 and then I worked my way up till last year I made about 80 
yeah, right around 80, maybe a little bit over. Um, this year, I will hit commissions uh, starting in September because it's on a three month rolling basis. So um, my J June sales, which is when I first took the job, the new position, uh, will get paid out in September. Uh, with those commissions, I'll probably make um, upwards of 150. Okay, so in regards to an environmental specialist, that would be in the range of 45 to 80k. I would I would say so. Yeah, I think 45 is pretty low now. I'd say starting, you'd probably be into the mid 50s, uh, low 60s. All right. And lastly, what advice would you give to anyone who is interested in pursuing this career? Well, for my job in particular, because it's such a small company, it's just be willing to do what it takes to get the job done. If you've got to push a broom to clean up the job site at the end of the day, you've got to push a broom to clean up the job site at the end of the day. If you've got to go home and uh, fill out some paperwork, you fill out the paperwork. Um, just have the grit to get it done and you'll be fine. Uh, people, people don't really care as long as you're trying is my experience. Uh, and as long as you're making their life easier, they'll keep coming back to you for help. So uh, just make yourself valuable. And um, I think that's for, honestly, for any job. Uh, if you make yourself valuable, you will be valued and uh, you'll be paid accordingly. Yeah. All right. Well, Benny, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you joining us on the channel. And for everyone watching this episode, uh, please don't forget to share it with anyone who's interested in a career and environmental compliance uh, specialization. <laughs> it's a long <laughs> break.